out that he <clears throat> this is just out of the normal behavior for him that he took one of these pills and just kind of down debt. <laughs> I would also assume that like you're in the middle of the woods, you just saw your bullet fucking go slow mo through the air. There's a real primal fear in you that you're about to die. I bet. But yeah, like, I, listen, the bullet thing. Yeah, you got to do it with a drill for hand. Yeah, buddy. Andrew, <laughs> that's like, what I don't like, even that's lie. Is. You'd already be bent over. No, no, I'd be gone. I would not even. Be, I would. He'd been. How you doing? And he would have been talking to nobody. I would have been fucking gonzo, man. Yeah, you would have just run in place. This guy, buddy. he's literally fucking handing this guy over some fucking flex curl, some cyclobenzapine, uh, a muscle relaxant, because he's about to fucking probe the fucking shit out of this guy. Yeah. He's got a drill for a hand. This guy's going to get drilled. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. It's not yeah. looking good. No. Uh, <laughs> after after taking this, the, the pill or whatever it was, the uh, Higdon said that he became aware, like, fucking kind of, roofling. <laughs> uh, taking in a little bit of the surroundings and what was kind of behind the, the creature itself. He said that he, he noted that there was a, some sort of like transparent or cube shaped object like on the ground behind yeah. the figure. It was about like, a, he was saying that it was about five by, I think he said five by five, like five feet by five feet, like is what he could kind of determine like what, what was there, this object. And um, he, he said that he kind of had the, he had the feeling that this was the, the craft that the, the creature was traveling in like that. That's what he got the impression. Um, and so uh, as, as Carl is noting this and, and, you know, staring at its ship for lack of a better, uh, I guess a better word for it. The, um, the, the, the alien kind of asks, like, do you want to come along? This is a quote. <laughs> like it's, yeah. Do you want to come along? Come for a ride. Do I have a choice? Hey Carl, and, you, you cool. <laughs> you, you took that pill, man. You cool, man. You cool. <laughs> when you come along, and uh, get to Carl, know each other you better. Hey, hey, you don't got gas or grass, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <sure laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. And and so Carl, as he recalls, like uh, during the event, he, he said he could just kind of he shrugged his shoulders, not really, not really as a uh, you know consent or anything, just kind of being like. I guess maybe okay, and yeah. the creature took it as consent, and then, and yeah. then. Well, I think you, you should have been if you didn't want to go, Carl. At this point, give him the old no means no, but you didn't, right? You no, didn't. No, no, hey, no, listen, no. when he's done, he's going to be talking all. The alien's going to talk be talking all about the implication. Yeah, <laughs> the implication. Right. Um, he had so, for a fucking hand. <laughs> and after after Carl goes ahead and, and shrugs his shoulders and 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 the, the creature somehow takes that as consent for what's about to happen. Um, Carl's memory after this goes a little bit spotty, like because the roof is leading up to this, yeah. very very much like sequential, yeah. and he remembers everything pretty clearly. But after this, uh, after that, um, he says that it, it was very almost quickly. like. After the pill, things yeah. get fuzzy. <laughs> um, Not surprisingly, I, the f- Carl four days slow acting LSD pill is taking effect. <laughs> the next thing that Carl recalls is that he was strapped into some kind of high back seat, which he he kind of compared to like a bucket seat, and that yeah. there is something strapped onto his head, some type of helmet or some type of device that was, it was strapped onto his head. It kind of uh, restricted his movement. Um, Fucking and chindo. Really see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. You know how expensive that pill was, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, but, the, but the thing is, the also the interesting thing is that Car- Carl says that he could sense somehow behind him in, in the ship, like where they were, he was sitting in this, in the seat, which I think there was, there was more, I think he said there was more than one. There was like a couple of them, like uh, four or five that he, that he noticed, but he was also able to sense behind him were the five elk in the herd that he, um, Woo! had been tracking. God he was damn, now it's a party. <laughs> Yeah, shit. Um, some interspecies erotica. Yeah, it's just getting weird now. Yeah. 
uh, Carl recalls like looking down through the seemingly transparent floor and that the, the creature made some motions, uh, with its appendages, with its arms. And then Carl said he could watch his, as his truck and the ground, uh, receded beneath them at fantastical speed, like just and, shooting up. And just know, so we're all aware, like by the navigator clear, style, when he says he made some motions with his appendages, it does not clarify arms. Dan clarified arms. It doesn't say that. It just says appendages. We don't know which ones. All right. All right. He just made some motions. He's just fucking will, windmilling that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Spinning and sinning. Yeah. Where are you? Let's like get it. this thing going. Um, that's, so that's uh, a different type of propulsion we're talking. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's yeah. True. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's right. physical p- propulsion right there. Yeah. The old D drive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just before we keep going with the case, we got to grab a quick beer, take a short yeah. break. We'll be right back. Woo. We're back. <laughs> Andrew, I, I want to really see you in one of those, you know, those Costanza Gore-Tex jackets, like those, those, those the huge ones. <laughs> hey, you get it. I'll wear it, buddy. <laughs> Uh, you should have a. We should have a temperature gauge on your little on your on your. How screen cold there. is it in Andrew's How cold is it? Garage. Right, cold. and you control the thermostat. Tip us, Andrew's thermostat goes up. <laughs> it's only it's either hair, just... it's either hair or heat, right? What do we say? Hair. <laughs> I'll freeze. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna start just more getting really sleepy. Yeah, you're warming up already. All right, where were we? <laughs> Uh, Carl Higdon is on his intergalactic voyage. Yeah, he's strapped um, in. He's strapped, <laughs> he's strapped in, in for right. action. Yeah. Whether he likes it or not. Yeah, not really sure if he wanted to go. <laughs> this creature doesn't care. Um, he didn't say no, though. So let's be very yeah, clear. He didn't, he didn't he specifically did say, no. say no. So, I mean, you know, in a court and of in law. In their culture, like, a shrug <laughs> might be a yes. This is true. Um, <laughs> so, so from this point, uh, the events that, that occur, uh, while Carl is aboard this ship, um, are the memories that he had are sporadic. Uh, like we mentioned before, the, the, the things that he remembers are a little bit different depending on which account that you read, um, in, uh, articles that you read, they will, some people will kind of, it, include the things that he actually uh, eventually would, would engage in like hypnotic regression. And so some of his, the events would get kind of mixed up together. Um, but kind of just going with all the, the original kind of story as, as Carl told it, um, he kind of remembers that, that, not only was there one creature in this in this craft, but eventually like another one, a second one emerged and that um, Carl was floated down or he calls floating down some type of white lit, brightly lit corridor um, to, to participate or be subjected to some type of what he assumed <laughs> was an examination. <laughs> Yeah. And has this, hold on, has this fucking has has old fucking drill fist here? Has he introduced himself yet? Uh, so yeah, so whether it was when he immediately boarded the ship or a little bit later, um, the, or the as, creature... he was, as he was fucking elbow deep into Carl. <laughs> oh hey, I'm hopefully I'm, before. I mean, you I'm as a one, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, the creature identifies itself to Higdon as also one. Yeah, yeah, asshole one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so uh, after after some type of examination, uh, the, the creatures communicate to him that, uh, in so many words, that he is he is not what they want, and they will take him back. Um, so, so basically he just communicated like, just him and said, it's not him. you, it's, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> well, actually yeah. it's you. You got to take you back. Yeah. Um, and so not only does the, the events like happen on this, oh, so uh, our boy Carl's going for an intergalactic fucking walk of shame here. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I mean, See you later, it, it be, that's not the one we ordered. Right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they may felt bad that they kind of picked him up and like, you know, taken him out of his natural habitat. So they decided to at least, he was just you know, crying a little, a little too tour. much. It made it awkward for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Um, but they decided to take him on a little tour. Um, not only of their ship, but apparently to 
what was their home planet. Um, Carl actually remembers the next thing after the examination that being in like the, this transparent ship, um, he remembers being the, in the presence of an intensely bright light, like a, a light so bright that it's actually like physically hurting his eyes. Um, like he couldn't look at it and don't even, like, stare at the arc welder. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that, but but through this light, Carl said that he could make out uh, what appeared to be a, a tower of, of some sort. And in in Higdon's uh, description, he compared it to, to. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in ten minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.